Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to be showing you my philodendron collection. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Autumn. I talk about plant content. If you've been here since the beginning, thank you for tuning back in. Please remember to like, subscribe, and watch my video all the way to the end. It really helps my channel. And make sure to leave me a comment. I really like talking to you guys. So let's get into my collection. Okay, the first plant that I am going to be showing you for my collection, it's a very small collection, but I am proud of every single philodendron that I have. They bring me joy. It's going to be my first ever philodendron that I purchased off of Etsy, and it is my philodendron Burley Marks. I ordered two cuttings off of Etsy maybe in 2019-2020, I believe, and I mean, this plant is so easy going, easy care. I cut it back because it was a large plant because it got out of hand and it was just too, it was filling up spaces too fast. Um, and it also started to get thrips a lot. So I just cut it back. Here, it has a great root system, as you can see. It's about four, four cuttings now and I keep it in this plastic cup and I change the water every so often. It stays in a west facing window. I will be potting this up, maybe in a repot video. It'll be my first time ever doing a repot video, so that should be fun. So here is my philodendron burly marks. I really recommend this plant. I would re recommend it, excuse me, for a beginner plant because it's so easy to care for. And I love the smell when you take propag propagations. It has like a really good smell to it. So that is my philodendron burly marks. All right, next up, I have three plants of this. It was one big plant, but I did um, take it apart to make it three individual plants to make it easier on me. And it kept getting <clears throat> thrips which is going to be my philodendron horsehead or bipinifolium. I put this one in a stone planter that I got off of on clearance from Lowe's for like $3.88. I would also say that this is an easy care plant. I love it in this pot together. The um, soil stays moist. It's in this chunky soil and I do have a lot of fungus gnats so that's why I have this trap inside. Easy care. They both stay. I have two in the same greenhouse, my personal greenhouse, and then I have one in my other greenhouse which is my store called A Gardener's Dream. Easy care. Loves humidity. Um, loves my spider farmer light. It grows really fast. Such a great plant beautiful leaves as you can see the shape of the horse head when it matures and then I will be showing you my second one which is a little bit larger and I just have it in this nursery pot that I've had and it's also in a chunky mix as well I just have standard potting mix from my local Lowe's I have um, orchid bark mix with charcoal and perlite and it's just a great mix. My, all my plants love it. As you can see, it has new growth coming in. If you guys are interested in the third plant that I am selling, um, I will be putting a picture of it on Instagram. And just message me because I'll probably sell it for maybe, I would say between $25 and $35. But you would also have to pay for shipping. So just hit me up in the comments or on Instagram. So here is my second horsehead philodendron. I just love this plant. Um, it was so large having all three of them together. It just got overwhelming and it took up a lot of space. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Next is going to be an imported philodendron, which is my Squamy Ferrum. Love this plant. As you can see, like, look at how fuzzy they are. Such a great plant, easy going. I love the feel of the leaves. The texture of the leaves. Um, this took a minute to take off growing 
because it was an import from Indonesia, I got it from Green Spaces ID. And when I um, first got this plant, I did have it in water and um, hydrogen peroxide. And then I put it into perlite. And then once the roots were fully established, it did put out a few leaves in my care. Um, I ordered um, um, this philodendron in the next one. I'm going to show you. In the winter time, I don't recommend. I said that in my previous uh, one of my previous videos. But it hasn't put out a lot of new growth yet. But it does have some new growth going on right here. And hopefully, once it gets more established, it'll start connecting to this pole that I ordered from Amazon. And I do have the Velcro tape which I think is amazing and I also ordered that off of Amazon as well. Also in the same chunky mix, I got this pot which I love. It's so beautiful from a local nursery. And Easy Care, this one stays under a grow light that's behind me in the floor. Um, not much to say about this plant. It did come out with this funky leaf so I'm not sure if it's because I sprayed it down in the um, mixture that I did was too strong for it so hopefully the next leaf will come out looking better but this is my philodendron squamy ferrum okay the next one which is a favorite of mine is going to be my Florida ghost beautiful plant absolutely beautiful easy care I have it in this glazed ceramic pot that I picked up from Walmart for a little over $3. It does have a drainage hole in Chunky Mix, also the same as the Squamy Ferrum. Hydrogen peroxide when I first received it, then I put it in perlite until the roots established. And it did take a minute for my um, two um, imported plants to acclimate to my home. But once it did, this plant really took off and it has a lot of new growth. Hopefully it'll pick up that's going on. Um, I did take a cutting recently and I put it in a fish tank that I have in the floor behind me under grow lights as well. Just so I could have a second plant of this. I highly recommend this plant. The leaves are beautiful. It does put out different variegation on this leaf. See the dark green. And then it comes out like a minty and then it turns green like I love that leaf it's so beautiful and I just highly recommend this plant it's such a beautiful plant I love the shape of the leaves that it looks like a ghost so if you do not have this in your collection you should definitely get it I think I picked these up between 25 and 35 dollars off of the website and I highly recommend green spaces ID just in the spring and summertime so this is my philodendron Florida ghost Okay, the next one, it really made me sad because I had this growing in my greenhouse for a minute in sphagnum moss, and I mean, it took off. Um, I'm not sure if I ordered it online or if I picked it up from a plant store, but it is going to be my philodendron brantianum. I couldn't save this plant. I had it outside so it could um, grow again, and I recently brought it back inside it is currently in the floor under grow lights so I just couldn't save it it started getting thrips um all my plants were getting thrips at one point and I just could not save this plant I do have a couple cuttings that I have rooted in my store if you guys are interested um just let me know I love the look of this leaf it has like a little shimmer silver to it Fast growing plant. It has a little new growth going grow, um, going on. Excuse me, guys. My throat is really hurting. And um, so hopefully being under this grow light, it'll start to take off again. And I do have it on this pole. So hopefully I will get larger leaves. Chunky mix. I picked this. Let's see. No, it doesn't say. Um... I really need to remember where I got this plant from. I'm just going to have to look it up and put it on the screen if I remember. But um, fast growing plant, easy care. It is prone to thrips, so make sure you guys check your plants. And I have gotten into wiping my leaves down more often. 
and if you can see it does have like a shimmer it's such a beautiful plant i love that it is a heart leaf shaped plant and when you get this plant established on a pole the leaves get really large so that's my goal so this is my brantiana so excited okay all right let's see next up is going to be my philodendron silver sword i ordered this off of amazon love this plant love the thickness look at that so thick i love the leaves the color the shape um here is the newest leaf that it is putting out it is unfurling easy care i believe philodendron are such easy plants i think they are one of my favorite genuses and it does have like a bluish greenish hue to it excuse me guys i feel like i'm getting a summer cold um easy care i wipe the leaves down because the first one that i had it always had thrips on it and i couldn't save it so i make sure to wipe my leaves down all the time and keep an eye on it love the thickness of the leaves i am a texture person person when it comes to leaves so i think that's why philodendron are my favorite if you do not have this, I highly recommend all of these plants that I have shown you. Um, Amazon, great price. I definitely will order more plants off of Amazon, just not right now. I do have it on this little stick that it came with, and eventually I will put it on a pole. I just wanted to pot it up in a better, um, when I get a pot, because I'm running out of pots, but it's in the same nursery pot that I got it in when the order came in so here is my silver sword okay so we have two more plants to go guys all right next i got this plant from pepper's greenhouse i've had it for a couple years now and it has put out tons of new leaves um i got it for 35 dollars and it is my painted lady like i can't even fit it on the screen like look it's so beautiful love love this plant and up top I did take a cutting and I have it in my fish tank terrarium and um, let's see I cut it Ooh, let me see I cut it right here and then it put out this little leaf right here and then it put out this weird leaf and then here is the newest leaf right here and it is, oh, sorry, it put out this leaf, then this funky leaf, and then now it's putting out a new leaf right here. Easy care. I have had no problems with this plant whatsoever, fingers crossed. Um, it has found out that there is a pole, so it is connected. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, where is it? It is connected. Let's see. Ooh. Right here. So hopefully it'll start connecting more with the aerial roots and start to get larger leaves. And I'm going to have to put an extender pole on it soon. Um, as I told you before, I got this plant for $35. And it was really like a large leaf and then a small leaf. So I cut the large leaf off and then it just took off with growth. And I just watered this plant, all my philodendron once a week and you can tell when philodendron needs to be watered because the leaves will droop a little bit and the leaves will get thin so once you water your plants they'll thicken back up and they'll perk back up um i just i don't know i just love this plant i love the look of the leaves like if you can see like a ribbing in the leaves i really will love for the large leaves that i've seen on like um, other youtubers have or on Instagram pictures and that's what my goal is so here is my philodendron painted lady okay last up I found this philodendron for $50 at a rare nursery in Virginia um, I've had this plant once before and I picked it up for $35 However, it kept getting thrips and I took a cutting and I just could not save this plant. So it is going to be my 
pink princess love this plant like look at this leaf it's so large like look at it so large it doesn't have a lot of pink variegation but it does have some variegation so i'm thinking the more light that i give it hopefully fingers crossed it'll have more pink and here is the newest leaf unfurling and then hopefully i'll be able to see right there it has a new leaf coming in and then on the back of this you see that pink easy care I will be putting this on a pole as well. I'm thinking about potting it in this terracotta pot. And um, that will also be in my repot video as well. I um, got this for $49.99. The um, larger plants at the nursery, they were like $150. And I mean the variegation on those plants was amazing. I just didn't want to spend that price on it. So, um... I definitely will be going back to that nursery because they have a lot of rare plants but I just love this plant like this is my favorite leaf it's so large and like look at the back like look at the look at that pink on the back it's like more variegation on the back of the leaves than it is on the front like the pink and I just think this plant is amazing um smells really good when you cut it I just love the smell and I just love all of my philodendron that is my collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry i'm feeling a little bit under the weather um guys remember to leave me a comment i love talking to you guys if you have any plant care recommendations anything plant care tips larger leaf tips just let me know and guys remember to be blessed and pestless until next time bye